hello guys greetings welcome to another one uh, in this video prophet lovey elias uh, was reacting to the expose of uh, bbc concerning the late prophet tb joshua and he says certain amazing words i want us to go and listen to so if you are new to this channel please show us love by subscribing by liking and sharing this video god bless you we'll see you after the video god bless you all god bless you all in the name of jesus I pray you're all well and I pray that um, the mercies of God are truly upon each and every one of you. Uh, I pray that um, the Lord will do something special for each and every one of you and that His grace and mercy that endures eternally will continue to be upon you. Um, I'm coming to you live and um, I've been getting a lot of questions um, about the T.B. Joshua BBC um, documentary I think it was called surviving the cult of uh, of TB Joshua I want to talk about that for a second and I pray that uh, you will be blessed and that you will be enlightened by the mercies and the power of God that uh, the Lord Jesus will be glorified and the Lord Jesus will be lifted uh, these are very um, strange times we are in and it requires a strange, uh, not, not strange, but um, profound understanding, profound understanding to be able to navigate these times. It requires profound understanding to navigate these times. And anyone that is not profound in understanding and in seeing the diabolical agenda that is set up for the church, many of you are going to be caught up in the trap that the enemy has set for you and uh, i pray that god will give you understanding great 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 understanding to understand why some of these things are happening now and they did not happen at a certain time now understand this uh, primarily there is no one without sin everyone has messed up now, me making this video, by no means am I saying that uh, the man of God never had mistakes. I don't know him personally, but I love the man of God. And the man of God was used by God. And anyone who says otherwise is just, you don't know Jesus. If you think the man was, uh, was used demonically or satanically, uh, if you truly read scripture, you will know who this man was. Now, that doesn't mean that he didn't have mistakes. Now, do I know his mistakes? I, I don't know. I didn't live with him. But everybody has mistakes. The only one that is perfect is the King of glory, the Lord Jesus. Now, the number one thing that you have to realize is this. The world thrives of negativity. Negative things sell more than anything that is positive. That is the first thing. Now, you need to ask yourself, what is the motive of making a video or making a documentary about a man who can't defend himself? That is the first red flag. Anyone that has any kind of wisdom, the primary thing is always to make sure you don't go with one side of the story. Now, when the man was alive, I remember this. When the man was alive, there were people who were paid to frame him on stories. If they've paid people to frame me, create stories about me, and I'm nowhere lifted as this man uh, was in his day. God is taking me somewhere. I haven't arrived there yet. But if they could pay people to create stories about me, if they could do things to frame me, how much more for a man who took over Africa for Christ, took over the world for Christ? So the number one thing is you have to ask yourself. I'm not here to give you uh, my opinion. I'm here to ask you questions that you need to question yourself with. The first thing is, why 
are you going to create something that a man is not alive to defend himself? Why didn't they make this documentary when he was alive? That is the first issue. Number two. How can we verify that the people on the on 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 the documentary what they are saying is completely the truth? How can that be verified? There is no evidence other than their words, right? Now, maybe he did do them wrong, maybe he didn't do them wrong, whatever may, the case may be. But the question is this. How Can we verify that what is being said is true? We don't know that. Number three. Why are Christians celebrating something that the world doesn't believe in your Jesus? The guys who created this documentary <laughs> are not believers. They don't believe in the Lord Jesus. They don't believe in church. They don't believe in salvation. They created this for clicks and for likes, right? That's why they made this whole documentary. Why are you celebrating something that the world has created? What do you think they are setting the stage for? Do you think any of you pastors are safe? How do you think the persecution of the church will come and how, how do you think they are going to justify it? When they can make a documentary about a faith they don't believe in to tarnish you, do you think Muslims don't have controversies? Do you think Hindus don't have controversies? Why is it that they're only making videos about Christians? You foolish people, you can't see what they are doing. They are setting us up. And many of you pastors and, and, and evangelists are going to be foolish enough to, to, to talk about this and, and tarnish somebody and this and that and that and that. You are idiots. You don't get it. They are setting you up. No one is safe anymore. No one is safe anymore. How do you think they're going to justify persecuting you? How do you think that's going to happen? When they start shutting down your churches, when they start using another person, let's assume the prophet was actually an evil man, but they start using him to judge all of us. How do you think you're going to ex escape that when they have portrayed an image not to the church, to the world, to have an idea of what Christianity is? On mouths of people, we can't truly verify. Okay? We can't verify any of the things because it's he say, she say, I was, I was. There's no evidence. Everybody's just telling their own story. We can't verify anything and we don't have the man's witness to defend himself. But many of you are going to go online. You're going to see your pastors telling you. You see, we told you he was a devil. First of all, let's go to scripture. Let's go theological for a second. Let's be theologically sound. The Lord Jesus says this. Nobody calls Jesus Lord except by the Spirit of God. So anyone that is telling you this man is a wizard... Yet the man is casting out demons in the name of the Lord Jesus. The man is telling you to give your life to Jesus. Already we know whoever is judging him based on saying, you are a wizard but you can use the name of Jesus and lead people to salvation. We know for a fact you don't even believe the Bible you preach. Because now you are arguing with the words of the Lord Jesus. You are arguing with the words of the Lord Jesus. I want you to be sober and think about this for a second. 
I want you to think. They are saying that all the miracles were arranged. All this were this. All this were that. All this were that. We can't verify that. But notice. You guys don't understand. They are coming for your church. You Christians, you don't get it. If it was done by one of us as believers. You know, one of the one of the the documentaries I really love and I watched them years years ago was called God's Generals. The 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 documentary was called God's Generals. Now in God's General it spoke about William Branham, it spoke about the Maria Woodward Etta, it spoke about all these great men of God. It pointed out the great they did. He pointed out the mistakes they made. And that is one of the best books you can ever read to understand the ministries of the generals that were there before us. It showed the good that they did and it showed their errors where they were in doctrine, where they were wrong, where they missed it for the next generation to do better. Now you tell me, when the world is making a documentary about you, notice all the all the all the shots they used were spooky shots of TB Joshua making people fall under the power of God, which is a hundred percent sound, nothing wrong with that. But the world won't see it like that because they don't understand it. It's like when Jesus spit on the ground, put mud on somebody's eyes. It doesn't make sense to the world. We just increased Islam. We just validated Islam, which we know is a hundred percent false. You just validated all these other religions because they cannot attack Islam because if they attack Islam, it's going to be uh, discrimination. They cannot uh, uh, attack Buddhism because of Buddha. But they always have always attacked Christianity. Every time they make documentary, nobody's making the videos about what is happening in Saudi or happening in Iraq or Iran or all these places where, where it's controlled by Muslims. No one is going to do that because the world will not accept it. But Christians are a punching bag and we have made it okay for us to be a punching bag. Don't fall for the trap. Even if the man did evil, the good he did outweighs the evil. And I'm using an if. If the man did evil, how many families did he feed? How many people got delivered? How many people had the gospel? I'm sure the man had mistakes like every other person. Why are we celebrating the downfall of others? What is wrong with us? Why are we celebrating the tarnishing of others? I'm just telling you to be wise. I wouldn't waste my time watching that. It makes absolutely no sense to me. The world cannot tell me how to look at Jesus. The Spirit of God will tell me how to look at Jesus and how to judge his servants. How to know who is true and who is not true. Not out of the mouths of people that you can't validate anything or prove anything because the man is not even there to defend himself. I remember that there's a lady with crooked eyes on there. There's a few videos of her with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Her taking back a statement saying who sent her, how she was. She, she did that a few times. You guys don't, don't know it because I followed the man's ministry back in the... So when I saw I said, yo, I recognize this woman. Be wise, people. Be wise. Many of you are falling for a trap that has been set for the church. If they can... If they can do that to a man that is dead, who can't defend himself, you think you're safe? You think Christianity is safe? You all don't understand what is coming. But I pray that God will give you the wisdom and the understanding.
that you will escape the snare and the trap the enemy has set for the church. That we will escape it. This was made with people who had a bias. And they only put people who had biases. They didn't put people on the other side because of what they wanted to portray. And it's good. Regardless of it, it will not erase anything this man did. It cannot. It will never erase it. It cannot undo it. Whatever God's hand is on. Oh, you can, you can turn it on. So, yeah. Whatever God's hand is on, no one can do anything about it. It is established. So, I pray that the Lord Jesus will bless you. That you will have the wisdom needed to navigate this wicked world we are living in. I believe in Prophet T.B. Joshua's ministry. I will always believe in it. Because I know the Lord Jesus walked with this man. And if he had mistakes, it reveals the grace and the power of God even more. Nobody calls Jesus Lord except by the Spirit of God. The devil does not cast out Satan. Or should I say Satan doesn't cast out Satan. Always remember that. So when they come and tell you, he's using demonic power and he's saying, in the name of Jesus, come out. <laughs> Anyone who tells you otherwise, just ask them, do you really read the Bible? Do you believe the Lord Jesus? If they believe the Lord Jesus and they can make a statement like that, just know they don't actually believe the Bible. They believe what they believe. They believe in their own theology. Not the word of God. And you'll notice it's people who are powerless that talk like that. Or speak like that. Not people who have actually been endowed with the graces of God. True, genuine grace. So, I pray for grace for you. And um, that's what I got so many emails. I got so many DMs. People asking me about this. So, I thought it was good for me to speak on it. I love Prophet T.B. Joshua and I am praying for Synagogue, the church, uh, that the Lord will truly, truly fight for it and that the legacy of his servant will not go down. If by this standard is what we are judging, then you guys should stop reading David. Stop reading about David. David was a murderer too. <laughs> stop reading about Moses. Stop reading about all these people. Stop reading about Solomon. Close your Bibles. I don't see anybody making an exposure video of uh, David. <laughs> Wise up, become wiser. May God bless you and keep you. Shalom. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment on the video. See you in my next one. God bless you.